Our names are Mike and Heather, and this is our story, so far anyway. For the last two years, we have been living out our van life dream and sharing our adventures here on YouTube. We're just two random people who decided to convert a van and pick up a camera. But the story of Mike and Heather really begins 15 years ago when we met in middle school and started dating shortly after. We dated all through high school and college and got married after I finished grad school. We spent a few years in careers that we worked hard to acquire and then the pandemic hit. During that time, we were fortunate to not have lost our jobs and were able to work remotely. We were introduced to a whole new world of working from home that we previously didn't think our careers would allow for. During that time, we also fell down the van life rabbit hole on YouTube and began binge watching van builds and consuming van life travel vlogs, wishing that we could live that lifestyle. Then one day, it was like a switch foot, and we decided we could be those people, or at least we could try. We figured it was better to regret doing something and going all in and trying to live out a dream than to live with the what ifs and what could have beens. So we began searching for the perfect van to convert and travel out of. With a limited budget and even more limited carpentry and mechanical skills, we chose the 2013 Ford Transit Connect. We purchased our van in the spring of 2021 and immediately got to work transforming it into a micro camper van. We quickly learned it was going to be harder than it looked. As we are getting into the ceiling, we think that there may have been mice up there at some point. There looks to be some like mice nest type things. Heather is much braver and better at handling wildlife than I am, <laughs> so she's going to be doing this. <laughs> Definitely some mice droppings. You remember how we said we don't know anything about working on vehicles or vans? Yes, full disclaimer, we are not experts. Mouse! <laughs> I'm kidding. Don't ever talk to me again. Okay. Don't ever talk to me again. I'm pretty sure we're getting a divorce. The van is mine. We had already scheduled two weeks off of work in the summer for vacation as we were hoping to take our van on our first van life adventure. With the date quickly approaching, we realized our build would not be completed in time. But that didn't stop us from traveling with a half finished build and having a fantastic experience. As I shove everything out of the way, so clearly we are nowhere close to being done. I guess we're not gonna be one of those glamorous van life couples. So this is what we're working with for the trip. We're not really gonna get into it, so we'll do a full van tour once it's complete. We wanted to see as much as we could in the limited amount of vacation time we had, so we began researching multi-state road trips. Being from the East Coast, we were a little bit limited, but stumbled upon an amazing road trip opportunity, Route 1. We started at the very top of Maine and followed the entire East Coast down through 14 states, including New Hampshire, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Connecticut, New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Maryland, Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, all the way down to the bottom of Florida and the Florida Keys. In that short amount of time, we fell even more in love with the idea of van life and the freedom that it brought. In two weeks, we visited national parks, went on amazing hikes, saw national monuments, explored cities, and the countryside. We saw wild horses on Cumberland Island in Georgia and six-toed cats at Ernest Hemingway's house in Key West. We even swam with sharks. We spent the rest of the summer building out our van in between working our career jobs. Full disclosure, I did not check emails. I went and grabbed a snack in the other jail, so let's get back to it. By fall, our van was mostly completed, and we had saved up enough vacation time to go on another road trip. We were able to visit some new states, Delaware and Vermont. As a result of the COVID restrictions continuing to lessen, we were both informed our remote work would be coming to an end as our employers wanted everyone to start returning to the office. After experiencing the freedom that remote work and van life give, we decided to pursue a future where we could continue to do both. As we were finishing our van build, we were also applying to any remote work we could find. With the remote work experience now on our resumes, we were fortunate enough to find new positions that would allow us to work from home. We then quit our career jobs for basic remote work and finally decided to go all in on our van life dream. I am walking out of work for the last time. Today is my last day. I'm leaving my office for the last time after working here for four years. It's incredibly surreal and scary. Holding back tears a little bit just because I have really enjoyed working with some people here. Very anxious and nervous but I'm also very excited to see what the future brings. I feel a bit overwhelmed and don't really know what to say or think at the current moment. Mike's waiting in the car for me. Packed up all my stuff, I guess. 
We'll see what happens next. I do have to turn in my badge first though, so still gotta go do that. We then set out on a mission to visit all 50 states in our 2013 Four Transit Connect micro camper van that we lovingly called APA. We started our journey to visit the remaining states on the most iconic American road trip we could think of. Route 66! We traveled from the east coast of the United States to the west via the Mother Road. We were able to add eight more states to our 50 states goal. Illinois, Missouri, Kansas, Oklahoma, Texas, New Mexico, Arizona, and California. Between the cheesy roadside attractions and amazing views, we started to truly feel like we were living our dream. I'm really just happy to be here because it's like manifesting everything that we've been looking forward to when we first purchased the van. Over a year ago now, this was what we were imagining the whole time we were building it. So the East Coast was obviously like fantastic, but Mike and I have been up and down the East Coast so many times because we're from New York, but getting out to the west side of the country, seeing all these sites, being able to boondock because there's so many different locations is really what I've always envisioned as van life and to just be here now is just really surreal. Once we completed Route 66, our certificate of completion which shows that we have traveled from Chicago all the way to Los Angeles, more specifically the Santa Monica Pier, along Route 66, so we have officially earned our certificate of completion. We continued up the Pacific Coast Highway through California, Oregon, and Washington. The West Coast was surprising and beautiful. Some of the places were like they were straight out of a movie. I'm still just geeking out that this was a spot in the Goonies <laughs> and one of the more famous ones as well. We then began to zigzag our way through some of the states we had left as we made our way back east. Our first stop was Idaho. We then continued on to beautiful Utah, taking our adventures to new heights and facing fears in the amazing national parks. We continued to visit more national parks as we made our way through Wyoming and Montana. We went sightseeing through South Dakota and hiking in Nebraska. We explored the tallest town in the United States in Leadville, Colorado. After a quick two week break, we embarked on our biggest fan life adventure yet. Alaska. We traveled through Canada up the Alaska Highway, stopping at incredible scenic overlooks, hot springs, and historic sites. When we finally made it to Alaska, our journey was just beginning. We were able to spend a month exploring Alaska as we wild camped at some of the best camping spots we have ever stayed at in our entire van life journey. We hiked incredible trails, walked on glaciers, took a seaplane to an island full of wild brown bears, went gold panning, and even saw the Northern Lights. As the weather started to get colder, we made our way out of Alaska, back down the Alaska Highway, making some familiar stops as well as some exciting new ones. Once we had officially made our way back to the lower 48 states, we only had 15 states to go. With fall now in full swing, we went on another fall road trip. We visited the birthplace of Halloween in the United States, Anoka, Minnesota, celebrated Oktoberfest in Iowa, hiked through beautiful fall colors in Wisconsin, we explored the wild and beautiful western Virginia, checked off another national park in Tennessee, found where all the lost airline luggage ends up in Alabama, drove through Mississippi to reach the ocean. From there, we made it to Louisiana, where we explored one of our favorite cities in the United States, went diamond hunting in Arkansas, explored the longest cave system in the world in Kentucky. We also stopped in at the RV Hall of Fame and Museum in Indiana to pay respect to all the great rigs and travelers before us. And then we only had three states left, Hawaii, Michigan, and North Dakota. Although we would have loved to have brought our van with us to Hawaii, we didn't quite have the funds to be able to do so. So we did the next best thing. We rented an old VW van to explore Hawaii in. This is unbelievably fun. When we returned home from the paradise that is Hawaii, we hopped back in our van and headed out to our final two states. In Michigan, we explored a winter wonderland and spent our coldest night in the van before heading to our final state. All right, this is it. When's There's it the hit? state line. Right Street North. Welcome to North Dakota. <laughs> Welcome to North Dakota. <laughs> we did it. Honestly, it's a little bit bittersweet because I'm so excited to be here, but I'm so sad that the journey's over. I didn't think I was going to get very emotional, but 
Wow, we did it. We left North Dakota as our last state for a very special reason. We are here at the Fargo-Moorhead Visitor Center where you are able to join the Best for Last Club if North Dakota is the last of the 50 states that you have officially visited. Not second to last, not third or anything like that. This has to actually be your last state visited in order to join. And they are pretty strict with it. In order to join the club, I think all we have to do is walk up to the counter and say that we saved the best for last. They'll give us a cool certificate and a t-shirt. We'll get to pose in front of the cool save the best for last little... I guess mural yep and sign the book of everybody else who's done it after completing our mission of visiting all 50 states we were left with one question now what with so many options and opportunities to choose from we returned home with a few ideas the one that we kept coming back to was our original dream of international travel something that seems so out of reach and too crazy of an idea but hey that's how van life felt at one point too so with our passion for travel and problematic how hard can it be mentality we are venturing out on our biggest adventure yet, traveling internationally. With this new chapter opening, our van life experience has come to an end, at least for now. We're in the process of getting our van ready to sell, which is really sad, but we're stripping off this. If I can get it off, how do we get this on? You just pull. <laughs> it's like, like, no, you can't sell me. Um, but yeah, we're wanting yeah. to keep this. Work okay. it around. Okay, got it. So our ultimate goal is to travel internationally, but we have hopes that we will come back to van life one day. And even though this is really gross and dingy from the many, many miles that we have been using it for, for nostalgia reasons, we're gonna keep it and hopefully be able to put it back on a van one day or an RV or a larger rig, preferably one that has a bathroom. This actually came to Hawaii with us and the van that we ended up driving in Hawaii would not have been able to fit this. But technically this went to Hawaii. Yeah, so this will be the last, I guess, remaining thing from Appa we have, and this has been to all 50 states. Selling your van was extremely bittersweet. We loved the many adventures we had in our van, but are so excited for the new adventures that lie ahead. And we are so incredibly grateful to have you along with us on this journey. Love, Mike and Heather. I'm living my